I was actually there when the announcement was made, when you had that partnership with uh, the Porters, Sean Porter, Kenny Porter. But um, I kept an eye on you. I've seen some of your fights. Uh, you can box and you can also come forward and pressure. Uh, what do you think is going to be your ultimate identity um, just moving forward in your career now with uh, Golden Book Promotions? You're going to fight more consistently, uh, going to have to step up in competition. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to be your style? At the end of the I think taking them both and turning them into one is just going to be the, it's just going to be the way that I do things. Um, I need to be able to press forward in some fights. Some fights I might have to take a step back and, and use my defense, which I'm good at both. Mm -hmm. um, so this just going to go back into being a boxer puncher. I'm going to punch. If I have to, I'm going to back up if I have to, and I'm going to press the issue if there's an issue. Yeah. Right? Um, how do you feel about your career now? Um, it's it's, it's going to be more stable, but what are your goals? The year's coming to an end, but what are your goals heading into 2020? 2020, I want to be lined up to fight for some of those junior titles, NABF, you know, NABO, all those smaller titles that'll put me in line to be, a, you know, line up for a world title or give me a ranking that I can push up and fight for a world title eventually. Um, that's my goal right now. I'm going to stay busy. I'm going to keep getting better, and I'm going to fight for those junior titles. You're at 135, right? If I'm uh, mistaken, right now, I'm going to be fighting at 26. Uh -huh. I've been fighting between 26 and 30 just okay. because I can't get opponents that'll fight me at 26, and okay. I don't fight at 30. So um, from there, I'm going to fight at 26, and I actually want to drop down to 22. Okay. So that's so 22 is going to be the division you're going to stick in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, any um, fighters in mind you have for a, a future fight that you just envision, you know, one day just having to fight a fighter that uh, you admire or something, you know? There's a lot of young fighters. There's a lot of fighters that I can get in the ring with, and, and that's going to be up to my team to put me in those in those positions. Um, I fight anyone that I, they put me in front of, honestly. Uh, it doesn't matter to me, and I'm I'm ready to take those risks. Yeah. Um, this is the Canelo Kovalev Fight Week, man. Uh, what's your um, prediction uh, for the main event uh, November 2nd, this Saturday? I think that... Going forward, I think that Canelo's going to get the win, and I even think that he might be able to stop him in the later rounds. That's yeah. my personal opinion. Maybe 9, 10, 11, 12, he might be able to stop him in those rounds. Um, I know Kovalev's a lot bigger, so it'd be interesting to figure out how Canelo's going to adjust to that a lot bigger guy. Um, I know that Jacobs always comes in a bigger guy, um, so that'll be a good comparison mm -hmm. in a way, but I think that Canelo's going to come out with a win and possibly a stoppage. Yeah, and you're, you're uh, Mexican or you're American? You're... I'm both. I'm Mexican. American. Yeah, so uh, how's your Spanish? Uh, it's, it's, it's good. I can speak some. Yeah. Um, I'm conversational, um, but you know, I'm working on it. So, it's so a work in progress. You can kind of relate to Canelo in a sense that he can speak English as well a little bit, but as you're saying, it's a work in progress. You can speak Spanish, it's a work in progress. Uh, that situation of being a Mexican American and a Mexican born Mexican, um, like that that language barrier it can be criticized like you're yeah. not Mexican enough because you don't speak Spanish or you're American because you speak English like where do you stand on that just clarify it for you me. know what that's 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 why I have to learn my Spanish yeah. and I want to be able to grab my fan base from Mexico and all the Latinos also and that's what I'm working on for them and for myself as well um, I've been working on that since the very beginning and you know it's the work in progress like i said yeah is it, is it a fair criticism though to you like that? i think you know what what's in your heart and what you are i don't think you, know, you should be able to what do i say uh question that you question, are mexican you know, that's yeah. exactly it ryan is half and half mm -hmm. uh, he's mexican-american from what i understand mm -hmm. and i feel like just because they're not going to support him 100%, they can, they should at least give him that respect, mm -hmm. right? That you guys are at least somewhat the same. Yeah. Um, but like I said, there's always going to be critics and there's always going to be people that love and hate you. So that's just what I'm prepared for.